Hi, this is Alan Rim Kaufman of the Rim Kaufman Group. We're a web marketing agency serving online retailers. Our focus is managing large scale pay per click search and on MVT testing to improve site conversion. Earlier this week, we open sourced a nifty little tool called RKG Duck. It's a Windows clipboard filter that comes in handy in various paid and natural search activities. Today, we're going to discuss how to install the tool, how to add a new filter how to use modules from CPAN and the, con the context for this is we're going to discuss ad grouping today. So let's start with the end in mind, see where we're trying to go. Uh, let's say that we had a bunch of phrases. Uh, here they are and you can see that these phrases aren't in any particular order uh, but there's different ideas. There's buying Broadway tickets, there's some words related to kids running shoes and some words related to uh, fishing poles and catfish and so forth. Uh, Google prefers semantically relevant ad groups, the words comprising an ad group making sense together. Uh, that works well for quality score and also is an essential when running content campaigns. So how might we cluster these words together? Uh, well one thing we might think about doing is we could sort them, uh, no header row, and this kind of links the words together. It put Broadway ticket next to Broadway tickets, but cheap Broadway tickets and tickets for Broadway didn't really cluster. So simply sorting the words isn't enough to uh, cluster related concepts. We're going to have to do something more sophisticated than that. And what I think we're going to do is actually use some stemming and create a unique signature that will allow us quickly and easily while staying in Excel to group related words. It's not perfect, but it's a pretty powerful approach and we can do it with RKG Duck and it provides us an example to show how the tool is used. So for the time being, I'll do Control Z and undo the sort. Let's minimize that spreadsheet and we'll launch into using Duck. Uh, before we get there, I'll just advertise this little tiny URL YUHZ5C, it brings up a blog post by my colleague George Mickey that explains some of the challenges of ad grouping, and that's something you might want to check out. Okay, let's start by installing RKG Duck. That's pretty easily done. You go to our website, rimkaufman.com slash duck, and the first link on the page is a zipped file. We click on that to open the compressed folder. There it is, and we drag it to the desktop and duck is installed. Let's close out these windows, get this in the center, and we're good to go. Uh, needn't be on the desktop. You could put it anywhere on your local drive or on a network share. Both are fine. Okay, we open up the duck folder. Here's the duck program. We click on the duck and up pops all these filters. Uh, we don't have a filter here to do ad grouping yet. That's what we're going to make today. So we'll close this out and we'll start in on that filter. The first thing we're going to do is create a new uh, text file and it has to be named filter underscore to know so the duck knows that it's a filter and we'll call it filter underscore uh, ad group dot pl okay and we'll now uh, edit that and it'll open up in notepad or if you have a Perl editor or whatever the case may be I happen to have uh, a blank template filter right here I'll paste that in this is kind of a generic filter uh, it uses strict to put Perl into checking the declaration of variables. It loops over the standard input buffer and it sends output at the end of each one. This is kind of the generic filter. Okay, so let's actually see how to write this filter. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll loop over each line and we'll knock off the trailing line ending carriage return with chomp and then we'll create an array where we'll split the uh, We'll split on white space, and what we'll split is the line we read, and so now the array W in Perl will have all the words. At this point, we may want to remove stop words. So in that list of phrases, uh, there might be certain words like the or of or is, and we want those to go away. So uh, because in terms of an ad grouping, those probably don't matter. So I happen to have a list of stop words, and uh, let me paste those in here, and this will create an array of stop words saying that we don't care about 
the is in where so forth and I'm gonna append on a few more stop words uh, buy and cheap and online and now we don't generally recommend putting those in search phrases but if they did creep in if you're uh, working with someone else's phrase list uh, the notion of a buy cheap fishing pole is really the same idea of fishing pole could be unless there's that discount angle on cheap but let's say that we want to treat this entire list of words a about and r and so forth as well as buy cheap online now as stop words to be removed so and this comma simply joins these two arrays so now that we have a Perl hash of stop words uh, we can use uh, the Perl grep command and what we're going to do is delete from our list of words uh, anything that is a stop word which is done sort of like this what this is saying is loop over each word and if it's a stop word knock it out so now we've removed all those words we don't particularly want uh, to think about when we're building these ad groups. Now we'd like to do some stemming. What stemming is, is reducing a word to its components. So fish, fishing, fished, and fishes all are about this concept of the fish, and they all stem down to the same thing. Uh, how do we know to remove the ing's, the es's, and all that stuff? That sounds kind of complicated. One of the wonderful things about Perl is there's tremendous amounts of code already written, and for that we'll turn to CPAN. So here we are at CPAN. It's a huge collection of free code to do just about anything you'd ever want in Perl. There's an algorithm called Porter's Stemming algorithm that chops words down and uh, different choices. Uh, there's more than one way to do it, and we'll use text English because it's particularly simple. So here is some information about this and here is actually the source code we picked this because it has such a few dependencies in fact it has such a small number of dependencies we can install it in kind of a hack way just by pasting the source where we need it so at this point uh, we're going to uh, copy the code here and back in our duck folder uh, we'll create a new folder called text and under text we'll create a new module called uh, English and it's a Perl module so it ends in PM not PL and we'll edit this and we'll simply paste in that source this is not the right way to install a Perl module but it works and the reason I put it in a subfolder called text is because the name of the module is text colon colon English learn more about modules at uh, Perlmod on uh, the Perl help files. Okay, now with that installed, we can simply use Text English, and Text English has a uh, function called stem, which takes an array and returns an array of stemmed words. So we'll replace our word array with uh, Text English stem of w. So at this point, we have broken it into words, removed the stop words, stemmed them, and now let's make some kind of a unique key and the key I'm gonna propose is a pretty simple one we'll just smash these together uh, we will join them with nothing in between them we could put in a delimiter but we're not going to and then to handle word order we're gonna sort the words first this will make it invariant uh, to word order and then we'll put that out and at this point our filter is done so now we're finally ready to test it out let's open up the spreadsheet again you can see here are the phrases I color coded them by category uh, the yellow ones being Broadway tickets the blue ones being fishing poles and so forth we'll turn on the duck uh, which is on we'll copy these into the Windows clipboard buffer and when we paste them duck will apply that filter and create some sort of signature that might be useful to add group on Broadway ticket kids running show let's see if it got it correctly we'll highlight these and we'll sort it by ad group signature and you can see that this ad group sig created by RKG duck uh, captured the idea of the phrases and grouped similar phrases together hopefully this example taught you more about RKG duck and the specific example of using word stemming to create conceptual clusters that may be useful for ad groups hopefully that was of interest too for more information Check out rimkaufman.com slash duck and have a great day.